pet patron question by Secular Sekai. I'm going to decide to read that like that. Sekai sounds cool. Okay, so the next question. If Islamic theocracies eventually fade away, do you believe that religious governments will become a thing of the past for humanity? Or that another major religion will try to replace Islam politically? Well, secular Sekai, I don't think that it's just that religious governments that will become a thing of the past. I think religion as a whole at some point will become a thing of the past. So it's not just like, yeah, and without religions, we're not going to have religious governments. So I know a lot of people say like, oh, that's ridiculous. We always had religion. We had religion for thousands of years. So how could we not have, given that we had religion for thousands of years, that means we're going to also have religions for indefinite forever. What kind of a dumb argument is that? Like, I keep hearing that. Like, uh, how could you expect religion to go away? We always had religion for, for like, for, ever since we had civilization, we had religion. So it's therefore, it's not going to go away. Okay, because we had it always, therefore, we will always have it. It's like, how could we, how could we land on the moon? Ever since the beginning of civilization, man never went to the moon. Therefore, we will never be on the moon. What? <laughs> like, are you serious? Like, yeah, it, it was there for a long time. And it, will, it just, there were things that continued for longer and it eventually end. Just because it was with us for a long time, that doesn't mean it will always be here with us. Okay. Um, I don't understand. I don't know if people can appreciate how humans are not just increasing their access to information at a accelerated rate in the past hundred years, but eventually they will also increase and improve the processes at which at which they will pro uh, they will analyze information. Okay. I don't know if you guys understand how fast things are changing. The past hundred years, in the way we have changed, the way we live, the things we know, has been more dramatic than the 5,000 years that have came before it. And that speed is also you know, that change is also accelerating going to the future. Like we're going to see, so we saw in the past hundred years changes that we didn't see in a thousand years before it or longer. And to see the same level of change that we saw in the past hundred years, we don't need to wait another hundred years. We need to wait another 10 years. And then after that, I don't know how this is going to, how, how this is going to, how we're going to keep up with this because we might get to a point where you're going to see the same level of change that we saw in the past 100 years every year the whole definition of what it means to be a human is going to be challenged very very soon very very soon more so, earlier than a lot of people realize religion will have no chance to survive in such a in, in, with that level of progress in fact humanity will have no chance to survive because humanity is going to evolve into something unrecognizable at some point so maybe actually it's true that people say that humanity will never be without religion but we will be without religion the world will be without religion because for us to mature out of religion, we also have to mature out of humanity. <laughs> we need to be something greater than human, which will we, we will be. We need to be human plus. Paris saying Armin loved the hairstyle. Oh, thank you. It seems like the less effort I make, 
the better it ends up being. And I'm trying to see if there's like <laughs> so that it's like sounds insidious. Transhumanism. Yes. Well, I mean, it's like I'm pretty sure a lot of the progress that we have made so far sounds would sound like very bizarre or not very welcomed to people a hundred years ago. Yeah, D is saying the past fifty years even. Practically nothing is the same <laughs> as when I was a kid. Yeah. It's going to also be hard to adjust, by the way. Our minds have not, like at some point, uh, you're not going to recognize the world. You know how like this generation, like the previous generation is having a hard time for, like we have had this before, right? Because of modernity, you know, we, we didn't have these problems for like thousands of years because we didn't have this this level of change. But we are so used to, now seeing like our grandparents not being able to relate or understand a lot of the, I don't know, cultural changes or memes or things. And they were also dealing with the same thing with their parents, right? But this cross generational divide in culture and values and understanding that we are used to now because of like, I don't know, two or three generations of people experiencing that at some point, this confusion is going to happen to each individual because the world is going to be unrecognizable from what it was a year ago at some point. That's how fast things are going to change, right? So things that took generations are going to take years. Hey, guys, if you want to join these streams live, get your comments and questions read by Ali, and Armin, and the guests, and most importantly, to get full access to the full video versions of all these episodes, become a patron. Link in the description below.